Hi, I'm Kelly Martino. I currently teach for Tracy Joint Unified School District at two K-5 libraries. I got my MLIS from San Jose State and I am Canva certified. I've been using Canva for about seven years now and in the library, I've used Canva for digital displays, creating fortune tellers, um, roll and reflect sheets, writing choice boards, um, scavenger hunts, uh, games, and what I'm going to show you today, book trailers. Book trailers can be used in a multitude of ways, but I like to show them um, to the older kids who maybe don't want to sit and listen to um, a book read aloud to them. If we're trying to push a book that hasn't been checked out, we might show a book trailer. So let's get into it. The first thing I'm going to show you is um, a book trailer I recently made. trailer like the one you just saw I'm going to show you how to add a background photo um, how to select your text how to use magic media to create your photos animate your text and photos add transitions between slides and add audio to your slides I'm going to show you how to make a book trailer in Canva. I'm going to create a design. Then I want to select a video. It's going to ask what kind of video. I'm just going to select the first one. And um, the book that I want to do a trailer on, I've already uploaded the background picture. Um, I just need to find it. Here it is. It's not your all-American girl. So everything's going to be kind of in this vibe. Um, I want to make a background picture. So I'm going to select photos and background. And Canva offers all kinds of background pictures. I want it to kind of fit what the story is about. So she, um, the main character, Lauren, wants to be a singer, and um, she also tries out for the head role or the lead role in a play. And so I'm choosing this stage. Now, it's not fitting like it's showing part of the stage, part of the lights. I want to adjust it, so I'm going to double-click. And now I can fit it in there a little bit mm, how I like it. I'm going to click outside. I want to move this to the back so that I can see my other um, photo that I put on here. So I'm going to right click to get the menu layer and then um, send to back. And then I want to lock it into place because it's my background photo and I'm going to use that background for the entire um, for the entire trailer. Now for this, it did not uh, it's not a great photo. It's pixelated when I make it larger. So if this were really a trailer I was going to show, I would try to fix that um, and try to find a high resolution photo. So I am going to um, duplicate this. I'm going to click here, click duplicate page, 
and now I want to make this smaller and I'm going to have this photo on every page in the trailer. Um, I'm not going to have it move around and I'm going to lock it into place. Um, so something that I did before I started this video was um, I looked up the description of the book and um, I copied it. I'm clicking notes now. I'm going to paste the description in and I'm going to use this description in my trailer. Um, and then since it's in the notes, every time I duplicate this page, the description will be there and I just take the next sentence in the description. So I'm going to take this first sentence, Lauren and her best friend Tara have always done absolutely everything together. I'm going to copy it. And um, now I need a text box. Just click add a text box. I'm going to paste it in there. And <clears throat> now I need to make the font visible. So um, I'm going to select the color and I'll make it white. And I want it bold. And um, I think I'm going to, I want an outline. So I'll select effects and there are different effects you can pick. I'm going to pick outline. Now it's automatically selected this gray color for me. And, you know, this color just isn't what I'm looking for. I kind of want to match the vibe of the book cover here. So I'm going to select this pink and um, right here, I can change the thickness of that pink. I think that's good. Let me see. Um, I'm going to get this off to the side and I can adjust the side by changing the size of the text box or I can adjust it here you know, multiple ways to adjust the text size. I think that's good. Um, so now I need a picture to go with this. Um, I am going to use magic, this uh, magic media. And what you do is you put in your description and you can select any kind of photo. Um, I think I'm going to do the photos in this in anime style because I know kids like anime. Um, this book is not anime. Um, it's not a graphic novel, um, but or it's not manga, but um, it is, you know, anime is cool for kids like it, like the drawing. So I have to put in a description um, for, that I'm trying to get this kind of style, right? Um, so I'm going to say Lauren is a twelve year old um, Okay, I put <laughs> Lauren is a 12 year old half Jewish and half Chinese girl with medium length dark brown hair who dresses kind of like a rock star. Um, and then I'm going to, I want uh, her friend in the picture. So I'm going to say um, Tara or she, she is best friends with Tara 
Who is a typical American girl with blonde hair. And let's see what images are generated from that description. And what's great about this is if I don't like the images, it saves my description so I can edit my description however I may need to. Um, hmm. I don't like either one of those. I didn't say she was a rock star. She sings. I don't... Mm. No, I want to generate again, see what else they come up with. Come on, Canva. Do your thing. Let's see. I, okay, I like this, but um, I'm going to go back to the description. She does everything with her best friend. So maybe that will put Tara in the picture with her. I think getting the right photo probably is the thing that takes the longest for me just because, uh, see, I don't want, so I have to change how she dresses. Okay, this, this will work. Or this one, hmm. I kind of like this one. We'll go with that. Now, oops. It's not grabbing. Okay. So now I need to decide how is this going to enter into the slideshow. Um, I want to animate it. So this, the menu is not showing it. I click animate and I kind of want it to match a little teen drama, girly pop vibe. Maybe blur. Blur is good. I'll match, match the blur and then, um, let's see. Oh, between these two right here, if I just hover over it, then I can, um, select this add transition and I can decide how it will move on to the next slide. Hmm. Do I want a circle? Mm, I kind of like this flow. All right, so now everything is set up. I have the right font. I have my picture placement. I can change where everything is placed in the next slide, but it's all set up. I have the transitions there. Um, if I duplicate this page, now the transitions will stay the same. If I want to change it up, I can, but if I keep it consistent in that same style, then um, it will flow together a little bit more nicely. And if you want to add your transitions at the end, you can, because when you um, have more than one, it will say, oh, do you want to apply between all the pages? Yes, I do. Thank you. Thank you very much. Now we need to add the audio. Let's pretend it, oh. And then remember I said um, the description goes with it. So now I would be like, all right, what do I want to put next? So when they don't have any classes together in sixth grade, it's disastrous. I don't think I want to put the solution on this slide. So I'll copy that and then I'll click this and paste it in. And then I would go into um, this and I would edit my description about um, not having any classes together. So I would say Tara or um, Lauren struggles um, when, I don't know, I would add how she has to be alone and then it would be a lone picture of her at school, maybe with a backpack. I would put that in the description. So 
Let's pretend I'm all done. We're going to add audio. I'm going to search trailer because that's what I'm making. Um, that's not the right vibe I'm looking for. I don't think monster within is. No, that's too ominous. Okay, maybe that. I kind of like this epic, epic trailer. Okay, stop. Um, so I'm going, so I can adjust the the length of it I can put it just on one slide and change the music to the next slide if I wanted to um, Canva allows I think up to five different sounds going at once so if I wanted to like add a sound effect or layer over music I could do that um, I could click here and this will I can beat sync it And I can, let's see, I want to fade in and fade out. And I also, let's see, I can adjust the volume so it's not so kind of overwhelming, I guess, kind of loud. And I don't know. Let's see. Let's see how it goes. That was wonderful. I love it. Just you can use finish the each slide and more new books in the library or use them to promote books that have yet to be discovered by students. My favorite way would be to have students create their own trailers for books they've read. You can use this page, the QR code on this page, to access any of my free resources.